Welcome to the practical lecture of spyware module. Here in this lecture we will be discussing about QSAR RAT. QSAR RAT is an open source project so that we can use it for free. But there are paid options as well. MSPY and SPYRIX. These tools comes with various functionalities. But for this lecture we will be using QSAR RAT. You can access this GitHub repository by going to the link in the presentation file so this is the tool here you can see they have specified various screenshots demonstrating how this tool works in features you can see all of the features that this tool provides you can see it provides remote desktop connection and all other features you can download the tool by going to the latest stable release link in their repository and here you can download this zip file qsar 1.4.1.zip i have already downloaded zip and this is on my desktop now as you might have noticed i am going to use this windows virtual machine as my victim's pc so i will extract this zip file by going to windows extractor and this is our extracted folder of qsar rat so make sure you disable the antivirus softwares before executing this QSAR RAT by going to the virus and threat protection and turn off the real time protection here. You can even add this folder into the exclusion list to avoid it from getting detected by antivirus softwares. I will open my tool and in the QSAR directory you will see all of the required files. Now here you can see QSAR.exe. We have to double click this file and click on run. Also, first time if you are executing this tool, click on create and create a new client for this machine. I will click on create and it will create a profile for my machine. Now, as you can see here, it has assigned a certificate to my QSAR RAM. I will click on save and it has saved the backup file. After clicking OK, you will see this RAT interface. This is our QSAR RATS interface that we will be working with. The settings, you can specify all of these options. You can specify the port here and all the other options such as to pop up on a new connection. I will enable this. I will enable this and you can read all of the options and enable any options you want here i have specified a listening port and i will start the listening you need to allow this in our firewall to be able to work with this tool and click on save in the about section you will find all of the information about the version of this tool here in the home tab you will see the victim devices when you add them in here there are a lot of columns and our main working tab is the builder tab here you have to do some basic settings in the basic settings you can type the client tag anything you want make sure you type something that is undetectable to the antivirus and the user i will keep it as it is and here you can read all of the descriptions that they have given here in the connections tab this is important tab here what we have to do is specify the ip address to receive the connection on which is our attacker's ip address i will go to the cmd and type in ip config to find my local machine's ip address and here you can see my ip address i will copy this ip address my this and paste it into my qsar rat make sure you are using the same port given in our qsar rat and also for our payload in the installation settings you can enable the client, install the client on the system or any location you want. You can specify all of the settings here to make your RAT more sophisticated and undetectable. You can even specify the directory where these RATs get installed and its working directory. Here you can even specify the auto start and give some name to the file when it gets executed in the system make sure you give some common name 
make it undetectable such as updater or anything you want to so in this case i will just give the java jdk or java name let's just make it java updater you can even name it as microsoft so the system will think of it as it is microsoft's file you can even deceive the users but for this lecture i won't be enabling any of this option in this section you can specify the assembly information and the assembly name and file version as well and you can even specify the assembly icon these things will make the file signature to change and which is beneficial for us and the next is monitoring here you can specify the monitoring and keyboard login now i am enabling these options because i want to keyboard login after setting up all this information click on build clone and i will save this file on the desktop and save it will take some time depending on the file size and as you can see the file has successfully been saved i will close this tab click on i don't want to save the settings and this is the rat we will be sending to our victims pc which i have installed in here i will be using my windows 10 virtual machine as a victims pc so what i will do is i will just drag and drop this file in my victims pc and i will double click on this file and execute it it will take some time to execute the payload in the background now it won't open any of the windows because we have disabled the windows opening and make it invisible we might expect a new connection in our qsr tab now as you can see here the new connection has been added in our qsr rat it is giving the information about the country the operating system the account type and the version of the rat it is also giving me the ip address in the administrator tab you can see system information file remote shell and actions we can shut down and restart the pc in the remote execution we can access the local files in the monitoring we can do password recovery key logger in the use support here we can do remote desktop send to website and send message box in the client management here we can update the tool reconnect and disconnect also we can uninstall the tool so in the administrator tab i will click on information and here you can see the system information of our victims we exited we can access various features of this tool such as key logger and in the administration you can see the remote shell which gives us direct shell to the victims pc we can type in our commands here such as who am i and it will give me the username of the pc i can type ip config to see the ip address it is executing the commands on my victims pc it is giving me a shell to the victims pc i can do various stuff such as dir to list the directory files i will exit this now in the monitoring we can access the key logger so i have opened the key logger here if i type anything in my victims pc all of the things I type will be sent back to the attacker's PC. I will open new text document and here if I type hello, I might receive some logs. I will click on get logs. Now here you see a pop-up. You can even disable this pop-up by going to the menu and turn off all of the notifications of QSR rat. If you click on get logs, you will see all of the logs all of the recent logs of this file let me try typing something else hello 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 and get logs it will update the logs now depending on the connection it might take some time to load the logs in your attackers pc if i click on this logs here and here you can see all of the updated logs as you can see Click on get logs to get the recent logs and here you can see I have typed hello hello hello. So this is very fun and dangerous at the same time. Attackers can get any of the critical information the victim might type in their PC. This is very dangerous. I will exit this and let's try something new. I will go into monitoring and I will click on remote desktop. 
let's try and remove desktop here you can see you can click on start to start the streaming this tool can mirror everything on a victim's pc if i try to drag and drop my file anywhere else you will see information gets updated in the qsr right very quickly it is mirroring my victim's device in the qsr right and i can do any of the stuff from here i can even take the remote control of my victim's pc if i click on mouse here now i can control the victim's device from my qsr rat here you can see i am opening this file and doing something now keyboard doesn't work if you don't enable it so click on the keyboard to enable it and now i can even type on my victim's pc from my qsr rat interface as you can see here hello how are you i will exit this on save we don't need it we can even access the files and do the crazy stuff on our victim's pc here you can see the fps at how much rate this rat is working disable this and you can even reduce the quality of the stream so it is a good option to use it at low quality it might not lag as much in the administration section you will see file manager here you can access all of the files in the victim's pc you can even access the users you can go to the files and change the data as well you have full control over the victim's pc you can go to the desktop and here you can see our rat now there are various options you can download upload execute delete remove and even add file to the startup and execute the remote shell in the victim's pc here you can see all of the drives in the victim's pc and access anything if i click on the file and click on download it will download this file in my attacker's pc to see the files it has downloaded you can go to the transfers tab and here you can see all of the files that i have downloaded to access these files i will click on open in file and here you can see the files i have downloaded I will exit this tab you can do various features such as add the file to the startup and here you can see all of the tools which are executed in the victim's pc at the startup in the remote execute tab you will see that you can even open a web browser web address in the victim's pc now in the user support you will send the link to the victim's pc and it will get executed and open in the victim's pc for example i will type google.com and click on visit the website now our victim's pc might open this link in the web browser maybe i have missed some options here i will go to the user support again and send to the website and untick this option now if i type google.com our victim's pc will automatically open google.com because the instructions have been said from our QSAR rat. It is crazy powerful as you can see. In the client management as you can see, you can elevate the client permission making the QSAR rat be the admin of the victim's PC. If the user clicks yes on this prompt, our QSAR rat gets the admin permission in our victim PC. So this is very powerful. If someone has the admin permission, of the victim's pc he can do anything he wants and he might be able to update and delete the system files of this pc in administration if i go to tcp connections it will show me all of the active connections in my victim pc that which site is using which ip address and where the connection is going i will exit this tab now in the actions tab now in the actions tab i can even shut down the victim's pc i'll click on shut down and as you can see our pc is shutting down and our attacker's pc get disconnected from our victim now that i have discussed about qsr rat let's talk about the paid options in this case you can access the mspy and any other tool by just going to the web browser and type mspy click on the first link and here you can see it is a spyware 
designed for parental control. You can set up it easy and access the tool from your web browser. So they have given all of their features and the abilities this tool can do victims PC such as screenshot, browser history monitoring and you can even monitor the Instagram kick account and it acts as a keylogger as well. You can do call monitoring, text message monitoring. Here you will see their pricings and all of the features that this tool provides. It is available for Android and iPhone as well. So this is overall the best tool for the paid options. And next is Spirex that I won't be discussing in this lecture. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.